Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to do the glowing eye effect. Very popularly seen in a lot of different music videos, stuff like that. Personally, that's where I actually saw this effect myself. There's many different ways of doing it, but today what's going to be actually quite interesting in uh, my tutorial compared to a couple of other tutorials I saw of people trying to show people this trick is my video here contains absolutely no plugins or presets or anything like that. Everything could be done 100% in the program of Adobe After Effects and um, might even be able to be done in Premiere as well, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure, well, I'm sure you can, but just a different way. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump into the glowing eye effect tutorial. 2018. <laughs> so actually what this is taken from is a music video, right? So this dude right here is a rapper. He was doing something for my channel called Tiki Non TV. And uh, basically I'm just gonna take this and, and show you how to do the effect. So pretty much it is just him rapping and then um, he looks away for a second. And then I thought that was a good place to actually bring on the eyes. Sorry, it's, it's full. I just wanna just render it quickly. Boom, now it's render. I'll come back here and play it. So basically, yep, yeah, he looks away for a sec and comes back with the glowing eyes. Obviously, it looks like um, what's called these kind of glows are coming out. And not only are the glows coming out, but when he goes to another side, the, the, the kind of beam of light changes direction as if it's literally coming out of his eye. Um, those two aren't even even. Look at that. You can kind of see more through, through that one than you can that one. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to do it nice and quick. All right, so pretty much obviously that is just to create uh, his eyes to a different color and then also look like light is kind of coming out of them. Um, obviously, you could have this effect on for a lot longer. I just figured I'd just do a quick little example here. I just made this before I started recording just to show you and now I'm just going to pretty much remake it with you just so you can get an idea of the actual process. But boom, I played that enough times. I'm just going to uh, actually go ahead and put these guys to the side, okay, over here. Boom, whatever, and I'm actually gonna duplicate them because these are a good point or good good clip to actually use. Once you've actually selected the clip that you want, go ahead and duplicate it uh, and then take out the section where you want um, the eye effect to come through. For example, for me, it was like here until he kind of looks away, right? So where's the first thing that he looks away on? Boom, looking, looking and then bow. That's kind of where I wanted it to stop. So isolate the bit that you actually want to do this effect to. Then you are simply gonna to wanna to go ahead and to the top layer that you've isolated where you want the effect to come through, go ahead and zoom in on his eyes. Of course, standard, you know what I mean? This is the eye tutorial, the glowing eye tutorial. Then just go ahead and make a little sketch. Now there's two ways you could do this. You could go up here and actually get the rounded, uh, the uh, uh, ellipse tool, right? But for me, it looks a little bit too fake. It literally just looks kind of like a circle following his eyes. Personally, I don't really like it that much. So what I would do is get the pen tool and straight up just draw the, uh, the, the kind of outline of an eye, bow. So basically exactly what I've just done here, except I did not do it very well. Um, I did it much better last time. Anyways, just go ahead and draw an eye. This pen tool and me don't really get along too well. That's bad. I just have to go back, redo that. Du -du 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 -du. Um, so once you've got a mask that you're happy with, right? Obviously, it, did t it, it, it is a little fiddly. Just kind of mess around with your shit until you have a mask that kind of suits your particular scene. Go ahead and mask around um, his eyeball, right? And then, yep, you completely guessed it. Um, hold tight, let me just move this down a little bit, ooh, ooh, adjust that. Yep, you guessed it, you are going to want to create a second mask, of course, onto this dude's other eye, right, or your guy's other eye, whatever the situation is. Bow. Um, is that good? Probably looks okay. Probably. Mm, yeah, that curves around a little bit too much. Yeah, just pretty much tweak it until you are happy with it. Hmm. I'd say it's all right for an example. Boom, there are my <laughs> initial two eyeball masks. Obviously, zoomed up close, they look a little bit weird to be fair, especially his eyes aren't fully open yet. But to actually put this effect in place, once you've done this particular mask around the eyeballs, just go ahead and go to your mask one or mask two, whichever one you wanna start the process off with, right click it and go to track mask. That will op uh, open up your tracker over here. 
There's a few different methods. You could do uh, track position, position rotation, position scale rotation, you know, whatever. Perspective seems to be the one that works the best for me. And once you've actually selected the one that you want, just go ahead and click play. Then that will proceed to actually track the mask to your uh, character's eyeball or to whatever, you know what I mean? Person, you're trying to put these, these, uh, these glowing eyes on and just like that, if we zoom in down here, that has created a, C a series of different key keyframes all along that top clip and now that's actually isolated, okay? So, yep, again, you guessed it. <laughs> we go to the mask too and track that as well. Perspective as well, simple, super, super simple. Go ahead and press play and basically just watch After Effects. You do uh, all the editing for you pretty much other than make creating some semi-okay masks. <laughs> Uh, feel free to take more time on all these effects than I do, honestly. For all these tutorials, I just try to do a fast run through of an effect that otherwise could take a long time to actually put together. So do spend longer for your effects. Trust me, I'm just trying to show you guys how, how to do it. But boom, once that has been done, if we actually turn off the things below, that is just two eyes that have been isolated. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Sorry, man, that, that is fucking hilarious. Oh my god, holy shit, look at this guy. <laughs> That's so funny. Alright, so now we've actually got that selected. Obviously go ahead and turn back on the bottom. And uh, then you're going to want to go ahead and go over to your effects. This is actually where pretty much the effect is completed. Just type in CC Light Burst 2.5 under the Generate. Go ahead and drag that to your top layer. Alright. Boom, and just go ahead and put the intensity up a shitload. The ray strength, ooh, you, you could put the ray strength up a little bit just so the rays are definitely coming out. Boom, now if we play, his eyes are indeed glowing. Boom, and the only thing I need to do is just go ahead and change this center point, right? If you change the center point to like his nose, then it's gonna look um, a, a, a lot more directional, right? Because obviously the center point is the bit that it rotates around. So if the center point is just in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the screen, that's not good. You definitely want to bring it over here because obviously the center point is dictating which angle everything goes at. So go ahead and put the center point in the middle of your guy's face, and then when you play it, boom! This guy right here has the glowing eyes. Bow. And obviously you can, you can change to whatever color you really want and feel free to mess around with any of the, uh, the other stuff. There's the CC light rays, the CC light sweep, all this stuff, but this is just a super fast method that I know to actually create the kind of glowing um, eyes effect. And this, this looks very cool right here. It kind of looks like some Iron Man shit, you know what I mean? With the shit that comes out of his chest or whatever. Very, very cool. Like I said, feel free to spend much more time on these effects than I show you uh, in the video because they are, they do, well, to just achieve the ultimate best way of doing these effects, you do want to spend uh, much, much longer than I'm doing and make them much more precise, tweak them. As far as other ways to do this particular effect even nicer, there are some plugins that can make this far nicer, but like I said at the beginning of the video, I just want to make this applicable to everybody without having to make you go out there and find loads of cracks for all sorts of stuff. This is super easy. You can do this all in After Effects and overall, a very, very cool little effect. You know what I mean? Very, very cool and very, very simple. All right, thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I upload video production, video editing theme videos every single day, or at least I'm on a roll at the moment, all right? So we'll see how that keeps going. Anyways, thanks for watching. I've been Jack Chris, Jack Cole. Have a nice day and goodbye.